Hello and welcome. In this video, I would like to overview Australian Zero package. It's a little bit different in terms of dashboard, but essentially most of the modules are pretty much the same. And you will see once you go ahead and look with me through all the modules available in Australian Zero. Let's go ahead and start. Once you log in, you'll be able to see the dashboard. And as in the UK version as well, on the left hand side, you have your company name. And if you click on a company name, you will be forwarded into your files. So where you can see information of all attachments that you can store, um, including creating different folders, which I normally do for sales invoices, for example, or purchase invoices or claims. So you can create various folders here. You can upload files from your computer directly, or you can also delete the folders if you don't need the folders anymore. In your inbox, you can also set up the, uh, these email address to forward all of the files, for example, purchases or expense claims. So once you send them to this email address allocated by zero, they will appear in your inbox and then you can allocate them to the folders to organize your files. And a great thing about it is um, then the file is digitally um, loaded onto the system. You can attach it to the sales invoices, purchase invoices and expense claims receipts as well. So it's very, very useful. Right. Then we have settings of the business. Um, and it's exactly the same as the UK version. You have your general and your feature settings as well. So go ahead and have a look at the dashboard video in this course. Um, then we have subscription and billing. Uh, so to uh, change your subscription or to um, change the administrator of subscriber of the zero. Then of course we have um, business accounting, payroll and contacts. Uh, features on these tabs and as UK version you have exactly the same short cash flow business snapshot so this too will help you to analyze how much cash is coming in how much your business is generating or spending and so it's incredibly useful in building um, your business and decisions based on the cash flow then we have the business snapshot with a financial uh, indicators and once you start putting information in, you'll be able to say more in details how your business is performing and you can have a profitability comparison throughout the years as well and see the efficiency of your business, a gross profit margin and so on, the financial cash position of your business, which is incredibly useful to see where you are in terms of your health of your cash flow. So are you um, in debt, so perhaps there's something you need to overview, um, or you are in stable cash position. So this is incredibly useful to look at um, when you start working on the zero and in inputting information. Then we have a section for invoices as well, um, and I've covered invoices and quotes and sales overview in the tutorial, and next section for the bills purchase and orders again fully covered in tutorials expense and product and services also known as inventory all of those are covered in uk and are very much similar so again for example we're going to invoices dashboard and you can see exactly the same um, structure you've got invoices repeating invoices you've got your credit notes sending statements importing and by the way, when you signed up with my course, you also receive import templates for free. And this is incredibly helpful and speed up the process really well. So you can also set up invoice reminders. And let's just have a look at the purchase overview and it will see it's exactly the same as the UK version. So you have your new bill, repeating bill, credit note or purchase order. Um, let's go ahead and look at expenses claims. Um, and expenses claims also very, very similar. You have to stop expenses. And we went through this process step by step and also set up the mileage receipt um, in, the, in this course. 
Um, then we're going to look into product and services. Also covered in the course in full, so you'll be able to see that it's extremely similar screen as you can see now. So you have new item and you basically set up all the information about the purchase or sale of this item when you sell it or even tracking. Again, all of those covered. You can import uh, items as well and balances. And again, I provided the free templates for, for you to minimize time spending looking what information you need to enter. Let's quickly have a look at the counting dashboard. Again, very similar. The only difference is in obviously in the bank account section, you'll have um, your Australian bank account to connect to. So when you add a bank, instead of Barclays, you'll be able to add your local banks, the local currency. And again, in the advanced section, you would have and access to tax rates and tracking categories, all of those. Um, we have videos in the course, you'll be able to see the chart of accounts, financial settings. So you can see everything here is familiar and everything explained in the course. Um, so each video for conversion balances, tracking, tax rate, chart of accounts, financial settings, fixed assets is fully explained. So look at the relevant um, video in this course. Um, and then, of course, fixed asset and chart of accounts um, also covered. And fixed, uh, fixed assets, I've also provided um, a free template for import. Very simple. You can either add it manually or use the import template uh, once you set up the depreciation. By the way, check depreciation video. I've also covered that. Um, payroll. Um, I do have um, a video in this course which is based on UK term payroll. However, um, let's have a look now. The differences are that you need to set up um, your organization in Australia with ABN and legal trading numbers. So we need to add organization. Then, of course, we will need to add employees. It's very similar. Calendar, again, it's the same as UK calendar. Employees, um, we're adding employees. We have done it in the video. Please scroll down below in the payroll section. So all of those, all of those items are similar to the UK version. Um, all contacts again looks familiar to the UK version as well. So um, if you look at it now, the dashboard it's exactly with information as before. Uh, so you add a contact or you also can import a contact. And again, I provide a template for this. Um, right, so to underline the differences between the UK and Australian version is the, mainly the dashboard. Here in the dashboard, um, you can set up a bank. So you can connect the bank and you will see the bank cash flow here. Then um, tracking. So um, the system will allow you to track the categories to which you will put a star against to. For example, we can um, we can track um, the categories of sales, so we can see straight away in dashboard what we have in our cash. We can also check, um, for example, we want to make sure that our consulting and accounting doesn't go above certain um, expect, expected budget. Uh, so we can try. We can also track. Um, insurance, so we just stick um, uh, close to this um, line at the start, so that will be appearing in our dashboard once we log in, as you can see now. Uh, we can also um, add budgets, so that means we can add um, how much an estimate is per different um, categories in chart of accounts for consulting, insurance and sales. And they will be able to track where you are at this present time, this month or year to date and how far off you are from the budget. Again, on the dashboard, it's different from UK version. You've got your uh, create new projects straight away. You can go into your project and set up uh, your client and project in this section. So we have in the UK version, I also checked on the project. So please have a look at the video. Let's go back to the dashboard. 
and here on the right hand side you can see a setup um, first invoice so basically you can add your first invoice or you can import invoices that are due and all invoices will be displayed on the right hand side uh, whatever has been raised sent to client and due your bills that you need to enter from your suppliers you can set up uh, through importing or adding new bills and by the way once you email the bill directly to your zero software with zero electric email address you can quickly set up the bill directly you by using this invoice as well or you can just simply attach it to your bill and um, stay on top of your taxes something is different from UK version you can choose reports that you will be um, seeing on the dashboard directly so here we can choose for example activity statement just just your cancellation uh, profit and loss and click save so you can see the tax reporting straight away on your dashboard and last but not least various of applications that you can connect to and um, as I mentioned in previous videos, those are third parties, so you need, do need to register, for example, on Stripe to in order to use it and link it to Xero. Um, you can also hide certain elements if you want to make sure that your dashboard is not cluttered. So you can hide, um, for example, uh, this section here and save changes by edit dashboard and hide. So as you can see, the dashboard is very much similar. You also have your quick navigation button that you can quickly enter transactions for your invoices, purchases, contact quotes, and receipt and spend money. That was cash. You also have your search button. And um, if you watched in my videos in contact uh, video, I actually explained that um, it's very useful, especially if you're looking for your client by number or by name. Uh, which is not really an option when you look into um, directly into contact search and um, any notifications will be popped up as alert here and your user access so that's just a brief but i think um it's useful explanation of where you are in terms of your uh, australian zero and where you are in terms of uk and this very similar the only differences are obviously um being a dashboard or being the payroll would be set up as a more local and um, in terms of pension and registration and everything else and obviously gst versus the vat which we have in uk but the process is pretty much similar um so if you do have any questions do let me know um but um i hope you find this useful thank you very much uh, for watching